Hey everybody, this is Kim over at the Orthwine Center. I'm doing tips and tricks for the month of October. And I wanna talk about stretching and, and creating um, a discipline where we are stretching every single day. Um, some benefits of stretching are improved flexibility, increases your range of motion, which helps you perform all of your activities that you do on a daily basis. Um, it can help reduce the risk of injury. Um, it helps your muscles and your joints work more effectively. Um, it helps you improve your posture. Um, stretching that lower back, your chest, your shoulders, um, Im improves your posture and it can relieve a lot of aches and pains um, while also allowing you to strengthen more easily. Um, improves blood circulation. So if you improve more stretching, it increases blood flow, um, which can reduce soreness and reduces stress, um, better sleep. Um, it can help you sleep more peacefully. Um, it helps decrease stress, um, which can help you relax, helps your mind relax. What else does it do? Um, it can improve your performance in everyday activities. It increases your ability to um, expend energy efficiently, but in addition to that, there are common mistakes that come with stretching. Um, there are no shortcuts. Just deciding to stretch for before you do one activity does not improve your overall flexibility. It takes discipline um, and it doesn't happen overnight. So I just want you to worry about these mistakes um, and that can help you feel more safe as you're creating your own um, practice. So following injuries, definitely follow your doctor's orders follow your therapist recommendations. When you've been cleared to do exercise and independent stretching, um, let's start with gentle active stretching. Um, there's two types of stretching. There are static stretching, um, which is where you will hold a pose for several seconds. And then there's dynamic stretching, which mo uses movement to create the stretch. Um, there is one more kind of stretch, it's called passive stretching. It's typically static stretching that someone else is helping facilitate. So if you were unable to get your arm up and over your head, maybe someone's back there holding that arm in that position, um, but that would be someone facilitating static stretching for you. Um, however that works, we can make it happen. Um, just remember to start gentle. Um, stretching too hard is another a mistake that people make. Always avoid pain. Never push past the level that you're comfortable at. Um, once you feel the tension in that muscle, that's a good place to start. Um, so never push really too far past that. Another one is not holding stretches long enough. How long do you hold a stretch? Um, if we're doing active and stretching, like dynamic stretching, that would be a good place to start for like a warm up to get those muscles warm, right? Um, and then a static stretch is typically held for a minimum of 10 seconds. And then you build up to holding it for 30 seconds to a minute. And then you'll repeat that two to three times. Um, with that being said, you just need to slowly keep track of how long you're holding poses and then continue moving forward on that. Um, and try not to perform the exact five stretches every single day. Your body gets used to it and sometimes you end up overstretching things. Um, so if you, you just kind of want to keep things balanced. So if you have tightness in one area, make sure you focus a little bit more on the area that you're tight in versus the area that you're not. Um, Another one is do not stretch cold. Um, think of those cold muscles as like dry, um, old rubber bands. If you really work on stretching that cold, dry, old rubber band, it's at risk of cracking or snapping. Um, so make sure you warm that up. We need to lubricate the joints. We need to get those muscles warm. We gotta warm up those rubber bands because they, you know, imagine a balloon when you've never warmed it up. It's hard to blow it and stretch it out. But once we have that warmed up and we've stretched out that rubber or that um, balloon, it's very easy to blow it up. Um, another one is to not hold your breath while you're stretching. I recommend looking at a clock or start working on how many breaths it takes, like full inhales through your nose and exhale with pursed lips, but full diaphragmatic breathing. Um, I often, if I'm doing a 10 second hold, I'll do two inhales and two exhales. So breathe in through your nose for three, 
two, one, and then exhale for five, four, three, two, one, and then breathe in, and that'll give me at least a 10 second um, hold. And then I know maybe like four or five breaths equals my 30 seconds. Um, but that way, um, you're oxygenating the muscles, you're improving blood flow through stretching, um, you're relaxing your body, which decreases stress. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys a few takeaways. I do teach a move and stretch class on Mondays at the Orthwine Center at 12 noon and then at 2 o'clock on Thursdays. Um, my posture class is also on Fridays at 2 o'clock, and I do focus a lot on functional movements, um, posture, and core. Um, I would love to have you guys out, so I hope this was helpful. Just remember, stretching every day is a great practice. Um, just remember to start gentle and only never push past what is comfortable. Always avoid pain. Um, start with holding for about 10 seconds and build up to a minute. Um, try to keep it dynamic and diverse. Change up your stretches all the time. Uh, make sure you're getting at least a good warm up on that muscle group that you're doing. So if you're gonna stretch those shoulders, get those muscles warmed up. Um, a nice machine like the New Step or the Skier or the Vita Glide or the Arm Bike, um, those are great warm ups. I recommend about eight minute warm up before you're doing any other kind of strength or stretching exercise. Um, and the last one is just remember to do breathing. So take some really great inhales and exhales, relax your shoulders, relax your hips, and maintain a good posture while you're stretching. All right, you guys, I'll see you at the Orthwine Center. Hope you have a great October.